Okay, good morning, my sunflowers. This is Queen to be 1000. Yeah, you guys are seeing right. My eyes look so tired. I don't know why. I stayed up till 1 o'clock this morning. I'm walking because I looked outside. I woke up around 7. It's like 7, something like that. And I looked outside and it's cool out here. It is like. You know, it don't even feel like summer. So I was like, ooh, let me stop talking loud. It's so quiet out here. It don't even feel like summer. So I said, I was watching some, uh, one particular, well, a couple of videos. Um, I think it's Pink Nini, QT Misbehaving, and, um, man... My other sis, oh my gosh, forgive me. She has her little grandbaby. My mind is blank. It's, I'm tired. I'm like a walking zombie. Oh my gosh. She does a lot of haul. She comes on here. She's like a diva. She has her, her uh, she calls them her helmets. Now you know who I'm talking to. I mean, they're talking about. I can't remember right now. But anyway seeing a video walking and I was walking you know but since I started working I wasn't able to get out here and come walking because after I get off from work I'm tired my feet hurting because you know I'm not used to just standing on my feet even though it's only four hours but you know it's just something that I wasn't used to I've been so used to doing my nursing sitting down chilling you know <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm so sleepy, but something pushed me to say, girl, get on out and take advantage of this cool weather. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and then on top of that, I'm so happy because I reached out, you know, I got a chance to talk to Victoria 0402. Uh, Look at that cat. <laughs> I got a chance to talk to her. And we talked for a while. And you know how some people, um, as soon as you get on the phone with them, you know, it's kind of like a, a moment of dead silence or, hi, uh, how are you? But with her, it wasn't even like that. It's like, soon, soon as we got on the phone, I said, Hello. hi, Victoria. She sounds the same way. And she kind of remind me, I don't know, of somebody in my past life. I mean, well, not like past life, but in the past, when I was younger, it was really close to me, or a combination of a couple of people, her so, you know, the way she talk remind me of one particular person that was so sweet, so nice person. Her name was Marion. She was from um, Belize. And then she kind of reminded me of somebody else, but I can't quite remember. But, yeah, I'm, I'm out of breath because I haven't did this in a little bit and I, I had got to the point at first where I was walking like a mile like 1.98 miles in 30 minutes and oh lord and then I haven't ate anything I usually try to eat like banana or something <sighs> or some um what do you call that cereal some uh <laughs> oh my god some shredded wheat I love shredded wheat and believe it or not, I like grape nuts. I like to let them get a little soft. So what I do is, because I like my milk, I can't drink milk when it's warm. It got to be icy, icy cold. So if it's not icy cold, I got to put some ice in my milk. I got that from my mom because she used to do that when I was a kid. I cannot drink milk and it is warm or not icy cold. So I put it 
in a bowl. <coughs> I use uh, my sugar substitute and maybe like a little sugar to take away that taste. But put that in the freezer. I'm weird. Put that in the freezer for a little bit. Maybe some little ice crystals. And I eat it. And it's kind of soft. I love it. But anyway, getting back to Victoria. Wow. It's like as soon as he got on the phone, we start busting up laughing off of stuff. And you know, I'm kind of silly. I'm a kid in heart. Um, yeah. I'm like a gentle giant, six foot two. But I'm very sweet. But you know, if I need to, now this place. <laughs> oh my God, it reminds me when I was in school. I didn't get in no fights. People, they didn't want to fight. I used to um, take up for my cousin when we was in elementary. And I was pretty tall then. So when everybody, anybody messed with her, I would come to her rescue. <laughs> And I remember one time, I'm diverting off the subject, but I used to, um, well, I wasn't really a bully, but it was this boy. I don't know, maybe I had a crush on him or something. He used to come over our house. I used to chase him around the car and choke him and stuff. I was bad. But, you know, I didn't pick fights, but I just did that to him. And then one day, I tried to do that at school. Whew. He let me have it at school. He punched me in my stomach. I lost my breath. I tried to run and go get my big cousin. His name was Leroy. He wouldn't help me. <laughs> he said, that's what you get. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. But back to Victoria. I'm trying to keep this walk interesting because I'm out of breath. It's hard to talk and walk. I haven't got to that point yet. But it's like... um See, see why I'm walking, you guys? This is part of my neighborhood. I love it. The birdies chirping. It's so beautiful, peaceful. Oh, it's so nice. So, uh, anyway, as soon as we get on the phone, we get to laughing. Oh, my God. She is so funny. I love her. I wish, I wish we lived close. Because she's a down-to-earth. And she real. She's just a sweet person. And it's like T-Day 6. I talk to her, too. And they both are so sweet. Oh, my gosh. And that's the way I am. I like being around people like that. Um, positive, you know, just cool, and can be young, you know, a lot of people tend to be uptight, and just because I'm 42, don't mean that I should be a crab apple, and I like to laugh, probably because I have my daughter, and then I probably got some of that from my dad, being silly, I have always... Even when I was young, making people laugh, but it wasn't on purpose. I'm just being myself. And people always say, girl, you crazy. They used to like hanging around me. And I miss my old friends um, that I grew up with. I lost contact. And the one I was telling you about, she moved away. She went to Belize and I never saw her again. It was so sad. So it's hard to meet genuine people like me you know I'm not a um well I don't like using this word but I'm gonna keep it real I don't like ghetto stuff and like in my neighborhood where I live but I pretty much stay to myself I know some people may say I'm I think I'm uh snooty or whatever they want to call it but I'm not I'm down to earth uh, it is so quiet. I love it. But anyway, I'm rambling. Anyway, back to Victoria. We talked about all kinds of stuff. Especially um, the skits that we do. 
we're gonna do a collab. Well, not me, but Big Rick and Ty Ty gonna hook up. And I think she said, was it Uvo or something? I'm gonna go get me a webcam probably Friday or next Friday real soon so we can do that. Ty Ty, uh, Big Rick said, what's up? So anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah. But look at this school, you guys. It's like it's connected to a park. Look at these beautiful streets. So, we talked about uh, the ugly dad. He had me rolling. We was laughing like, like, um, like little kids. Good morning. We was laughing like little kids. I'm like, that's rare that you start talking to somebody over the phone and y'all laughing like y'all know each other. I'm like laughing like, <laughs> I mean, that was, that was awesome. That's nothing but the Lord. You know, he could put people in your life. You don't actually have to see people in person. <clears throat> There's like, there's some stories where, for one in particular, my aunt, my father's sister, she's around my age. <coughs> I'm going to clear my throat. I have that morning throat. <coughs> Wake up every morning. I didn't have that when I was younger. <coughs> oh, look at this. So nice. Yeah, but my auntie, she met her husband from a dating site. Mm-hmm. And she talked to him over the phone, um, computer for a while, time, they in a meeting, spending time together, boom, they got married. And they still married. Yes. So it's the same with friendship. Whoever says that you have to meet someone face to face to be good friends, eventually, I'm sure you'll meet the person. But God works in mysterious ways. You can meet people over the internet, YouTube in particular. Y'all doing videos and collabs and y'all talk on the phone. You can build a good, real friendship. Because you're really like um, learning the person, talking, conversations. And then when you finally meet, it's like, hey, girl. And y'all feel so comfortable around each other. Things happen like that. So whoever think that, oh, you too, you can't meet no, no good friends. Yes, you can. You just have to pick and choose and, you know, um, let God lead the way and stay positive and uh, be yourself. Bam, here you go. <coughs> So, I really enjoyed the conversation with her. She is hilarious. And I, I rarely open up to people about certain things, but I deal with her. She is cool. And, uh, I mean, it's nothing bad, of course, that I said. It's just women, women talk, fun stuff, life. Talked about God. We read Psalms together. I shared a couple of scriptures that I like, like Psalms 25. Especially when you're, you know, um, feel like you feel down, your spirit is down or whatever. Psalms 25 is awesome. Oh, this video is almost 14, already 14 minutes. So anyway, you guys, I'm not going to take up more of your time. I don't want it to be 30 minutes. <laughs> Who wants to sit and watch a video of somebody ranting and walking? Well, I do. I watch it, especially if they're talking about some positive, cool stuff. I like that. That's like when people go, oh, yeah. What is it? Um, <clears throat> is it Lexus China doll? Anyway, one of my YT sisters is looking for a house. I love to watch House Hunters. 
I really enjoyed it. It's like I was there. I was like, pick that one, pick that one. I like the upstairs and downstairs a lot because I've always wanted that type of house. And I think it's cool. And I know I'm going to get it someday. I have faith in God. One day, I'm still young. That's like I'm still young to get married. There's some people that get married when they're 50. So my life, to me, at 40 has just begun. It's like at 40, it's like, bam, you're in that mid part and begin to see life for what it really is. Well, in most cases, some, some a little early, it depends. Uh, oh, look at these guys. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Everybody, I don't know if you guys saw them. I'm so silly. That's just me, you know. That's me. And for all you guys that's curious what my name is, I'll go ahead and tell you. Because y'all my subbies. And I want to share a piece of me with you. I'm going to give you my first name. My name is Vanessa. Yes, my name is Vanessa. And speaking of cutie misbehaving. You guys will never believe this. Hey, this world is small. When I first saw her, I just looked at her and I'm like, I was familiar with her, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I just left it alone. So I'm tripping. Why she inboxed me and said, Vanessa, so have you figured out who I am? I was like, what? What? I said, huh, what? So I inboxed her back. I said, um, no. Because I said, you look, I was just telling my daughter, I said, she looked pretty, she's a pretty lady. She looks familiar, but I couldn't uh, figure out. Look at this bird, y'all. See what I got to deal with in the morning? Beautiful nature. So, then she inboxed again. Man, she said, I'm, no, first she said, she didn't say her name. Oh, damn, this dog. I ain't playing with that. <laughs> and that gate is too small for that dog to be right there like that. Anyway, she said, uh, uh, remember, she mentioned two guys' names. One of them was a guy I was dating, and the other one was his cousin she was dating. That's how we met. And I was like, oh, my goodness. So I couldn't, she still didn't say her name, so I had to go through her videos. I said, let me go through her videos to see if she say her name. Her name is, her name is Marissa. I remember her when I was younger. She was so sweet. She still ain't called me yet. I don't know why. I don't bite. <laughs> but anyway, she is so sweet. I remember her. She is one of my childhood friends. Something like that. Yeah. Really, really nice person. She was so nice. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm about to end this video, y'all. I'm about finishing my mile. I think I've walked almost my mile because I go around the block and go home and that'd be my mile a little over a mile and with the help of you guys thank you so much thanks for watching this video don't forget to comment like and I want to send my shout out to the names I can remember off head <clears throat> uh, Alexis China doll I hope everything is well with you and your family Val, um, I can't think of your last name, but you know who I'm talking. Hope everything is well with you and your son and your family. <clears throat> Pink Nini, uh, hope everything is well with you and your family. Oh, gosh, why well, can't think something Richardson, my mind is gone. I hope everything is well with you and your family. 
And if I forgot anybody, I am so sorry. Retro Diva Jones. Uh, C. Brown. All oh, you guys and my new subscribers and old. I can't think right now, so forgive me if I missed out anybody. Thank you and God bless. Bye.